So here, here, here again, Abia has maintained the first position in West Africa school certificate for three years back to back. Because they have the opportunity. Exactly. To we're, 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 and we are retraining our primary school teachers. So the kind of things we are doing. And then this thing has economic dimension. A World Bank scholar has come to posit that you can't do any meaningful economic development if you spend more than 30% of your income on, on, on education of your children. If mommy and daddy earn 100,000 naira and they spend more than 30,000 naira, that they, they, they can never become comfortable. So there is no kind of economic development that can take place unless you lift the burden of education, of, of certain you know, aspects of exactly. education. Of. So that is why we are targeting reversal to public schools in, in, in Abia. But I will tell you this. Some people when they speak about political expediency, can come and mount um, free education, we are doing that. If we look at how many people are in private schools, and how many are in public schools, and you are giving free education to only 10% of the pupils, that is cosmetic and flowery. It's not making sense. You are doing it for your own personal aggrandizement, but it's not making sense to the population. So we want to first of all reverse, and then reverse and we have, we have built 340 brand new schools, class, you know, classroom blocks. Right. And we are building four model schools. We are built, actually. And in our model schools, each of those model schools will have staff quarters, hostels for students, e-library powered by solar, laboratories powered by solar, adequate security, good number of classrooms, not lacking any, and then the ambience within the class. We have a magnetic board, of course. We have a projector and all of that. So we are pointing at something for the private schools to look at what an ideal public school or what an ideal school, school should, should look, look like and stick so, to a model. Exactly. So for us, we are tackling economic development through education because we are lifting the burden on the parents so that no parent will spend more than 20% of his income. We have retooled our university. Today, on the list of employability in Nigeria, to Arabia State University is ranking very high. They have run three years without strike. You know, and then school enrollment has returned. So we, we are, it's, it's an entire gamut. We are retraining our primary school teachers through an NGO in Australia. And before the end of this year, we are going to send some primary school teachers to Australia because we also want to do something about their psyche and confidence. If you recall, the 30 shoemakers we sent to China, what it has done to us today is that bad people write proudly made in Abba because they have seen that there's no magic in China. That's it. Yes. Why, why give credit to somebody who didn't do anything? Whereas I can do even better. So we are speaking to the psyche and self-confidence of our teachers. You know, so if they go to Australia and they expose and they meet other teachers and they interact, they'll be able to know that, hey, my, my, my profession is it's, uh, worthy of emulation. Uh, I, I, I need to be proud. Ask me, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. You can be anything. <laughs> because of time, let me take you to uh, the national stage. Mm -hmm. now, um, as of today, you are not moving in one direction or the no, other no, direction. No, no, no. Uh, but some of your colleagues are, and when I say colleagues, I mean governors. Yes. Uh, some other people also are, and I'm sure some of them are your political friends um, and associates. What do you make? I mean, nationally, there are some people who say, we have come to this again. In 2013, 2014, there was this movement. Uh, now again, almost four years later, we're having the, almost the, the same movement, and in some instances involving the same people. Uh, what's your own assessment of that? Well, I think um, that there's, a, there's a, a maxim in sociology that says that uh, human behavior is situational. That is why we are not trees. If you want to cut down a tree, the tree will wait for you to come. But if you want to cut down a man and he gets the inkling that he wants to cut down a man, he's bound to move. Even a rat will move. Uh, that is one. Two, expectations. When expectations are not properly located, or when promises, vain and fake promises are made, and uh, people become disappointed and worried, 
and become disenchanted. Um, it could lead to all kinds of things, you know. And then um, politics, because the raw materials for politics are human beings, people are extra cautious. People are very, very careful. Even in marriages, husband and wife, as a Christian, I respect the biblical injunction that says, uh, no, no to divorce. But when you wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning, and your spouse is preparing your coffee, and you see some tablets of cyanide around that, 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 cup, of coffee. that cup of coffee. You are not likely to just hold on to the injunction. They are not likely because, because that thing that they enter, they enter one day. If, if it's not useful today, it, you may do something that it, makes it exactly, useful exactly, another time. Exactly. And then you don't know when you will provoke her or him. And then it gets to the point where he or she wants to because it, they, the, the material is there. available. You know, so that is what I want to allude to in saying that um, I am not very, very surprised. And I don't want people to be angry about it. I want people to, unfortunately, most people will be unable to tell you why they did what. But it is their right also to reveal as much as they would want to reveal. But from where I stand, what I see is some people are disappointed, some are disenchanted, some can no longer trust their political allies, and uh, some people made promises they can't fulfill, and now they are walking away. You know, to other places where they have been made fresh promises. Exactly, something like that. So a lot of reasons are come for it, but in all of it, I want us to elevate public good to the point where it becomes the very essence of service. Desperation, um, even use of uh, languages that. Um, uh, cannot bring about peace is is not part of my game. I don't, I don't think one needs to get to that point because I have very very limited time to make an impact, impact. and then I'm I'm I'm, I'm too busy you know, <laughs> getting involved in making this impact. Right. Your party had a long running crisis between uh, the run up to the 2015 elections. Mm -hmm and in the immediate aftermath of the elections, even until probably this year, yeah. the, there was that crisis. But now things seem to have settled. Mm. I, will, I, I know it will be tried asking if you are satisfied with the way things have been settled. But I think I should still ask. Oh, welcome. welcome. Well, um, <clears throat> satisfaction is, um, is a present continuous uh, word. You know, I mean, it can always get better. Uh, but remember that we are dealing with human beings and relationships. Yes. And then, um, like I said earlier, expectation. The other, the other, the other uh, word which affects apply, expectation yes. is greed. If somebody is very greedy, you know, uh, or his appetite for, or his desperation to become something. Who, you know, who over, who overwhelms or is uh, stronger that than his sense of reasoning and or the, logic. Exactly, and his desire for common good for the people or the party or the nation, as the case may be. You find such people very difficult to placate. You know, but the important thing is that uh, under secondos, we, 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 we seem to talk and communicate more now. Things are said, you know, points are made, uh, facts are revealed, and then um, that somehow uh, enables us to assess how our minds are working, either as individuals, collectively, as states, as groups, as regions, as a people. And then we've also spoken to ourselves, what was it that we didn't do right? You know, people came to say, oh, uh, you didn't do this, you didn't that. if you had done this. And there seems to be a narrative, right? you know, uh, around um, why we did not do well. And a narrative around the need for us to elevate um, party interests. And also the need to mainstream the interest of Nigeria um, uh, against 
some of the things that are primordial and um, or that are specific personal. to a particular exactly, area or exactly. a particular group. You know, so I think that I am satisfied with the way things are going and the devices in place uh, to serve as buffer mechanisms around fallouts, uh, disagreements, disenchantments, and all of that. But then, that is from my perspective. 